just relax go slow there's no need to hurry there are no monsters this is too <laughs> Yeah, I just love this topic. It's really embracing the answer, isn't it? It's stepping out of the question and into the answer. And that takes courage, you know? I studied the Course for many years, and, uh, and then when I f my mind was ready, I felt like I could go deeper, and then the answer started to come. And it took courage to step towards those answers and, so, and to step into those answers because those answers seemed like they were uh, asking me to do things that felt impossible for me to do. And yet there was such a, a call in my heart to wake up, not to have some more concepts, not to have some more ideas, not to have some more good moments but to truly awaken. And that's what we're all about here. We're really about an authentic healing of the mind to the awakening of the truth of who we are. To be able to have the courage to let go of those things that no longer serve us. And that takes courage. And it takes support, actually. And when I was ready to do that, the support came. And I always wanted to live in the desert by myself. I wanted to meditate. I wanted to uh, not take my brother with me, actually. I didn't think I needed to. Mm -hmm. And so when I finally let my hands off the wheel, and I said, Thy will be done, and I let go of my ideas of what that's supposed to look like, I had to have a lot of courage. And I had to have a lot of support. And then all of a sudden I find myself surrounded by mighty companions who aren't messing around. <laughs> David Hoffmeister, to me, I had, I had listened to a lot of teachers, but David Hoffmeister was clear, and I could feel it in my heart. And it was my own clarity showing up in my mind. It was my own clarity saying, come with me. I've got you. So yeah, it takes courage. And people would say to me, well, it can't be the Holy Spirit because you're, you have fear. It's like, oh no, no, the only thing that was in fear was my screaming self-concept of I don't want to let go of my life. I don't want to let go of what I thought security is. I don't want to let go of what I thought safety was. I didn't want to let go of what I thought love was. And Jesus says in A Course in Miracles that we ask for far too little. And you don't even know what that means until you start to let go of that littleness. You have no idea. I had no idea what that meant. So there's this amazing light and love that we are literally swimming in and we can't see it because we're so focused on what we want to hang on to. And we're so afraid to let go. And it's like we just, we feel like, like last night we had a meeting here and, and it came out that we would call this Sunday gathering now the answer. And the reason for that is because there is an answer present here that's being offered. And Living Miracles uh, is such an amazing, to me, is such an amazing opportunity to link in. Because everybody here uh, has devoted their lives to one purpose, to a shared purpose. We're not here. We're not, most of us were loners before we came here. Most of us mm -hmm. were mystics in, in our minds. We just didn't really fit into things in the world, even though we may look like we did. But so there's this deep reverence and devotion for this pathway of A Course in Miracles. And I do believe that we are the mystical branch of A Course in Miracles. Like we're, we are settling for nothing less than the full experience of God's love, for the truth of who we are, to radiate, to radiate from our hearts. And the only thing left to do is to extend that love and so like you guys were sharing, it's like that's what we do here. We're just, we're just open to being used and being communication devices for this release from fear, this release from conflict, this release from believing in this world, this, this, the release, the full release from this distraction. 
it's here and it's available. There is an answer. Of course, a miracle is not the only answer. But guess what? We're all here. This is where the Spirit has led you. This is where the Spirit is offering support for your mind to awaken and to be glad. This is about a love affair, a true love affair with the Christ. This is uncovering everything that gets in the way of that. And so it's such an honor to be able to be a part of this. And it's just my mind. It's just the mind. It's the mind awakening. It's not personal. And all are welcome. All are welcome here. Jesus says many are called, all are called, but few, few choose to listen. So if you're having, like, feelings of, of worry and stress and fear and trying to work things out, it's like there's an answer here. So step towards the answer in a deeper way. We have so many ways for people to link in with us. And we have all these questions all the time that we get from people. How do I do this? How do I do that? And we used to spend a lot of time in counseling sessions and doing prayer sessions and things like that. But you know what? We have full-on programs that you can link into. And we're honored to offer those to you. It's like the answer is present. And, and, and you know, we have a monastery. We don't make cheese. We don't make wine. Although I did want to do Jesus, Jesus. But we don't make wine. You know, uh, we provide, we package David's teachings, Messengers of Peace teachings, the community's teachings, and experiences and parables of how we've walked through this. And we present them in a way that's beautiful and easy to understand. Every single thing we offer is online for free. And if you want it in a more condensed way, in a more packaged way, then there's a fee for that. So invest in your awakening. You know, we're, we're certainly not here. We've all given up personal ownership. We're not interested in money. So it's a, beautiful, it's a beautiful opportunity for really coming out today and saying, you know what, there are answers. There are beautiful answers. And we just want to share them. We want to extend them because that's what we've been given. This is, you know, I always say, people say, why, you know, why do you live in community? And why with David Hoffmeister? And I said, well, it certainly wasn't my plan. But it's what the Holy Spirit wanted for me. And until I stepped deeply into that, I was still on the surface of awakening. I was still just paddling around, trying actually to hang on to my life. So I just really feel grateful to be a part of this. And a part of this, you know, uh, Jesus says there hasn't been a comprehensive awakening. But uh, we've, been, we've been hearing more and more that it's happening. It's starting to happen. Be a part of this uh, comprehensive awakening. Turn away from the darkness Quit fixating on the darkness in the world and start to see it that it's in your own mind. There is no out there. There's no out there. It's like everything that's happening in the world, and we're going to talk more about that tomorrow morning, is just an uncovering of that which we've tried to, to, to control and to manipulate and to keep in a box so that we don't have to face the inner terror of the belief that we're separated from our source. So let's face it. Let's face it together. Let's face it holding hands. There is support. And Jesus says, when you're ready, mighty companions will be by your side. And we are mighty companions for each other. And you're so invited, so invited to, to start to release on deeper and deeper levels of the fear in the mind. Because that's all that the Spirit is asking for. Give me, give me everything that, that you think that isn't true. It's really about letting go of stress, worry, concern, roles, anxiety. <laughs> and go, no, I want that. Let everything be reinterpreted through this joining and through this prayer. And there is a prayer. It's a deep prayer. With everything that's happening in the world right now, it's a very, very deep prayer. And it's not happening in the world. It's happening in the mind that is awakening. So... It's so beautiful to let go. Every time a concept falls, it's like the mind. And like what you were sharing, everything that we do here is to wash away the doer. Everything that we do here is to wash away that idea that we have to do it on our own. 
so that the spirit can convince the sleeping mind that it's never left its home. It's a big trick. It's just a big trick. So courage. Walk towards it even if your knees are shaking. We've all walked towards the light and there's been a lot of shaking. But it's worth it. And the mighty companions are here. And as we hold hands with each other, we bless each other, and we, uh, and we walk each other home to our real home, which we all know. It's like there's got to be a better way. We're not meant. It's not natural to live in a state of fear. It's not natural. So, thank you for... Yeah, it feels really beautiful to have these gatherings and to be very transparent with the way we live. And like you were saying, you know, um, it's really sharing our parables and, and sharing how we <coughs> face things and let them go and what support we've received so that we can join hands together and do this. We don't need to settle for anything less than God's will for me is perfect happiness. Perfect happiness. <laughs> not like not, not like just here and then the next day you're on the floor. Perfect happiness. And you know at a certain point you have to really believe what the Course of Miracles is promising. And say, okay, I don't know how to get there. I don't know how to do it, but you know the way and I'll follow. And then to have the courage. Okay, whoa, 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 that's a big step. Okay, I'm going to take it. And you know what? When you take it, you're met. But you can't receive it until you take the step. It's called faith. <laughs> and then you see that you are so loved and so cared for and so carried. And then it's like you don't have to do this. You're not doing this on your own. And then the mind starts to shift into presence and being the witness. So. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you could sing just relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like uh, I did my first devotional with Eric, I don't know, eight years ago. And I would just be like shaking in terror and fear. <laughs> and he had come and sit on the end of my bed. This is how powerful. And this is how much support that the Spirit gives you. And he would sing to me. While I'd just be like rocking in the darkness. He'd just <laughs> sing to me. So. And this is one of the songs. <laughs> yeah. 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 The song is for all of us. We all needed this. Just relax, go slow, there's no need to hurry, for there are no monsters chasing you, just be still, let go, there's no need to worry, there's nothing For I can promise you There's nothing about yourself You need to hide Take off the mask And let the light shine on Your innocent face You've never done it So 
Look inside.